Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Sean Brooks back in another video. And today, we're we'll gonna be taking a look at 1080p versus 4K. The same old age question that videos have been done for this multiple times, but I haven't done one on it yet, and I haven't done one for you guys. So I kind of want to see if you guys are able to tell the difference between 4K footage and 1080p footage. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Now, within this footage, I am going to be doing, showing you guys different clips. One is going to be labeled A, and one is going to be labeled B. And one particular part of it, I'm going to ask you guys to comment which one you thought was 4K, and which one you thought was 1080p. So, uh, until then, enjoy the clips. So while you guys are thinking about that, if you haven't taken part of the challenge, the BM challenge, go ahead and take part of that. Follow me on Instagram at Brooks Media. And the challenge is pretty much you just taking some random picture in your house doing this lockdown isolation and seeing how creative you could be with it. Uh, you can post to your story or your feed on Instagram. Just tag me at Brooks Media and use the hashtag BM challenge. Again, just having fun. All right, so now that that is done, now that you guys have figured out which one was which, I'm gonna tell you guys the answers now. So. Cam A was definitely, footage A was definitely 4K, then footage B was 1080p. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I, you more than likely couldn't tell the difference, you know what I'm saying? And depending on what the answer is gonna be, I'm gonna go down in the comments and check, but I'm pretty sure that you were pretty hard pressed to see, to see if there was a noticeable difference between the two. The only time the difference comes in is when you crop in. Now on 4K footage, obviously when you crop in, you can still get a nice clean, picture even if you to crop in like around 25 35 percent you can kind of still be around like 2k or so uh 1080p is definitely the same you can you definitely don't have that flexibility in 1080p and this is why most in most cases i film in 4k but to be honest most of the client work that i give my my, my clients they don't really need 4k because most of the time they're uploading it to a social media site that's going to go through compression anyway so i could even if i wanted to i could shoot in 4k and then just download it or just on down stop as a 1080p so you can still have that crispness even when they upgrade it but at least the way the file sizes are smaller when i give them the final product i'm going to be honest with you a lot of this talk now with filmmakers when it comes to 8k and 6k i think it's a lot of garbage and the only reason i'm saying that's because a lot of the footage that we use now or see, even in movies, most movies aren't even shot in 4K. For those who don't know, most movies are actually shot in 2K because you don't want that much attention to detail on actress and actress's face uh, to see the blemishes and things of that nature. So most foot, most movies are shot in 2K. So, you know, even 4K can be an argument, but in all fairness, the cameras they're shooting that even in 2K you're on are substantially better than what I'm shooting on, obviously. But my point in saying that is, with resolution, resolution doesn't mean anything. Well, it doesn't mean everything. So like right now I got 8K cameras coming up, but it's like, yo dog, they already had 8K TV. So it's gonna be like, what's the point? Even with our phones, um, if you if I look at my YouTube statistics, most of my uh, my subscribers are watching my content on cell phones, and a good chunk of these cell phones don't even do 2K, let alone 4K. So it's kind of like, you know, is 4K really needed, or can 1080p footage be just as good? And as you guys can see from the footage, 1080p can be just as good. So if you were out there wondering, like maybe your camera doesn't shoot 4K really well, but you can do 1080p really well, you can still get away with it. Don't let that stumble your creativity. Again, 1080p footage is still good, still rocks. I want, I want you guys to remember one thing. It's typically never about the resolution. It's really about how you frame up a shot. So anytime you frame up a shot that looks good, how it shot it up the field, the background, it's gonna look good regardless. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I just wanna do like a little quick guessing game with you guys. Uh, other than that, stay, you know what I'm saying? Stay safe, stay cool in this isolation, and don't forget the challenge. BM challenge, boy Sean Brooks, and I'm out.